Yo, what it do, guys, and welcome to a card catalog guide within Lost Ark. To start off, you're going to be needing some card packs. In a similar fashion to the chests and recipe pouches you gain throughout Lost Ark, you will also collect quite a few of these card packs, and they also come in different rarities with multiple different cards you can obtain within that rarity. Ideally, the higher the rarity of the card packet and the card, the harder it is to obtain. So there's plenty of RNG involved here. So now that we have a couple of cards to work with, let's find them by opening up our roster menu and click on the card catalog menu to bring us to this interface right here. In the top left are three tab sections and I'm going to break them down, but I'll be doing them backwards or from right to left. And that's for two reasons. Number one, it's best I explain how to rank up a card because the odds are I'm assuming most of you are wanting to know that part right now. And because number two, when a card is ranked, it's easier to get the term awakened highlighted for you to understand now so that you can follow this video a lot smoother. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look into the first tab called Enhance. This tab is like a craft tab. Within it, you can find, rank, delete, and upgrade your cards, your main library in other words. So let's rank up a card by doing these few steps. Firstly, you'll need card XP points. Now, these are other types of cards that you can gain from completing Chaos Dungeons past your daily dungeons, for example. Again, these XP cards come in different rarities. The higher the rarity, the more XP you gain per card. So let's consume all of these different cards for different amounts of XP. Secondly, you'll need duplicates of the card that you want to rank up. Now you can see if a card has duplicate by simply looking into the lower bottom right hand side of the card and whatever number it states is the amount of duplicates it holds. For example, let's have a little look at the card name Ramis and right here you can see how many duplicates I have. That's easy enough to understand, right? Thirdly, to rank up a card, it'll be a similar process to Honin. You can scale up the XP of the card by moving the slider across from the bottom left to right, or just simply by hitting the max button. You'll also need a bit of silver, and then once you're ready, go ahead and hit the enhance button to begin enhancing your card. Each card has five crystal icons located underneath them, and this states what their current ranking level is. Each level requires more duplicates, but that's easy enough to remember. Rank one requires one duplicate. Rank two requires two duplicates, and you guys have already guessed what rank three, four, and five require, so you get the pattern. This is how you rank your cards up and awaken them. So now that you understand what that means, let's go ahead and move on. The next tab category we have is called books. This section is quick to explain. Books are complete passives you will gain for your entire roster of characters. However, you can see that there are a lot of book bonuses to benefit from, so this is going to be a very slow process in collecting them all. On the left hand side, you can see all of the different collections and what kind of passive benefits you will acquire if you own the cards and even have the cards ranked up further by awakening them. But now let's have a little look at the great leaders set. Now I currently own 7 out of 10, so you can see that because I don't own a full set, I therefore gain no passive bonuses. However, if I compare that to a set that I do own called Succession Plans, a simple 2x2 two two set that when collected will provide all my characters with a plus 1 to swiftness. Now, If I had all of these cards ranked up and awakened, I would continue to benefit within this set and all my other characters as well. Do keep in mind that you can search for cards like Burhart here as an example that we have within the set and he may appear in other sets too. So by having him ranked up, I may be benefiting myself in more ways than one with the other sets to help me. And finally, we have this last tab section called Equip. This is your manual section, meaning that the cards that you see on the left hand side, you'll be wanting to drag over into the empty slots in the middle to fill them up. You can see which set effects you gain by hovering over the set effect details icon. The more cards that you have in the set, the more bonuses you benefit from when equipping them. The bonuses also benefit from your awakened cards, so ranking up those cards are quite important. But now, let's go ahead and drag over the Trixian card set that I have here and equip two of them to show that I would now gain a plus 5% reduction to all elemental damage. I mean, that sounds like a good starter to me, and these cards are very easy to obtain. So let's leave those on here for now. If I wanted more from the set, I would simply just add in more and fill up all of the slots. However, I can mix this set with another set if I choose to do so. Let's now drag over two cards from the Field of Boss 2 card set. And by doing this, I now increase my health percentage by 4% on top of the additional damage reduction. Now, this is a great way to gain extra survivability if I find myself struggling with in content and I need that extra layer of defense. So you guys can pick and choose your own sets to add in for particular content that you find yourself up against. It's important that to get the best of these sets, you really want to awaken your cards, as most of them will go ahead and give defensive stats, but by awakening them, you can benefit from offensive stats. 
It will take a while to go and get a good system built up here. So don't rush yourself or push yourself to go ahead and collect and rank up those cards. But it's definitely a cheeky little way to help you throughout your content. I think I've covered the main questions and what you need to know within the card catalog system. This was just a basic understanding. However, if I did miss anything, please let me know within the comment section below. And either I or another commentator will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you guys for watching the video. If this helped, then please go and hit that like button and share the video with another player who may also need the help. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for anyone interested i'm always live over at my twitch channel so feel free to stop by and say hi but as always i'll be seeing you guys again in the next video